What's up guys? Graham here. Sorry about the little bit lack of videos lately, but we've been celebrating all the nice holidays that's been going on with Christmas, New Year's. I had an absolutely amazing New Year's party with all of my friends and lots of cool people that I haven't seen in a long time. It was very fun. I really enjoyed it and i hope you guys will forgive me for the lack of videos in this short amount of time that it happened uh but we will be going right back into full swing just shortly um granted you know the job does get in the way sometimes and hopefully i'll be able to keep the videos up and uh not have to work these seven day weeks that i was right before christmas so now what all is new we want to go back to all the build videos and all that that's for sure we want to make sure that those are the saturday videos on you on uh the regular so to say but uh tomorrow may be a build video maybe not i'm not too sure it's the bard video that i'm really wanting to do real soon but it's uh the bard isn't uh, the the rogue isn't leveled up to 65 yet and i've just got to get the time to level him up and then i can do the bard video and all that and also people are requesting assassin videos which that sounds really cool as well um really i think i'm wanting to do a uh possible marksman video as well uh marksman is always been one of my favorite specs and even though it's not as strong these days uh, I would like to go back to it and try to make it shine um, and I've had people send me very good marksman builds as well so it's something that I'd really like to touch base on and make a video on it another thing that I would really like to make is a warlock video before warlock becomes not as efficient as it is now or something because warlock is really good uh, by what everybody says so I would like to make a video of that learn how to play it get real used to it and then make you a uh, build video for everybody to be able to run it if they like um, let's see what other videos am I wanting to make uh, definitely a tempest video uh, the tempest build is definitely something that I have a lot of experience with and would like to uh, eventually make a build video on the only thing that I don't like about tempest is the survivability right now tempest is pretty good as a glass cannon but the thing is as soon as somebody gets on you you have almost no options at all you're basically just going to eat to death and that really sucks um, most uh, range classes like that have a lot of CC and uh, uh, ways to get away from the the people that are getting on you but if you get a paragon or something on you while you're a tempest you might as well just turn around and let them hit you in the back until you die that's basically what you need to do because there's not much getting away um, now once those uh, videos get going you know we'll be back in full swing that that is guaranteed um, I I was having a lot of trouble with the job lately where uh, it was eating up a lot of my time I was working long hours uh, the bosses really sucked. I imagine that's the story with a lot of you guys, but uh, it gets me to where I'm like, man, screw doing this job. I want to go back to making YouTube videos all the time. And that's what I did right before I was uh, with this job. I was making YouTube videos all the time. The thing is, is that the Rift community uh, isn't as big as like a World of Warcraft community, so it's not as easy to get support from it and uh being a full-time youtuber and stuff it's it's not as easy with rift i mean it would be it would be possible if people like donated and stuff like that but really there's uh there's a big lack of that compared to other games i mean there are tons and tons of world of warcraft uh live streamers or uh youtube personalities or anything like that and the viewer base makes donations to them and all of that even if their channel isn't real big a lot of times they'll get donations and that's just not the case with uh, rift rift has a smaller player base and all you have to do is go on twitch and look at rift on there and you can see that you know 
at any given time it's it's about 15 people watching the live streams there and you know sometimes you'll have the bigger live streams like if uh, somebody that is doing a big time raid or something gets on then you'll have 20 viewers maybe 30 but really it's just not much for support so doing uh, rip content full time is you know just not viable and almost nobody donates to rip personalities I mean, uh, the biggest one right now is Seton, and you look at his donation list, and I think he's gotten like a $15 donation uh, one time, you know, and then a couple other people have donated a dollar and stuff like that, and with me, I've been kind of fortunate to where I got a little bit more than that, but it's it's not much more. I, I actually had uh, uh, one one person that wanted to be united. Uh, anonymous should I say I was almost having trouble saying that uh, wanted to be anonymous had donated fifty dollars one time and then donated another fifty dollars another time so I actually had somebody donate a total of a hundred dollars to me one time um, and then at other times I've had a couple other people donate twenty dollars in there which is really nice you know nobody has to give me a penny of their money and the fact that those people uh wanted to support the channel like that and do what they did i you know i'm so thankful um but whenever you look at the broader spectrum it, it's it's still not as enough support to have people really sticking to only riff content and that's also why you see people like noobzilla and all of them they've they've went to other games um noob knows that you know if he plays world of warcraft that's where the people watch the videos that's where they are going to donate to him that's where they're going to support him and all of that and rift generally has a very good community and all that but it's not really uh the community that's going to throw money at you like the the wow crowd does uh they really get behind the the people that make content with that and it's probably just because it's so many more people watching and stuff like that and that's probably why they're more supportive is because there's more people with money to give um whereas rift has a smaller player base so you're not going to touch into as many people that have you know money to give like that well it looks like noob has went full time into uh wow content and other games as well but mostly wow i think he's given up on rift for the most part that i've seen and then uh, you got people like Space Boots. Space Boots has moved on to other games. I think he's doing. Um, uh, what game is he playing right now? Uh, I'm not too sure. I, I thought I had seen some videos of him doing other games, but I'm not real sure what he's focused on right at the moment. But I know he wasn't playing any Rift anymore. Um, and then you got other people like even Seton hasn't made a video in weeks now and he'll probably come back to it you know the guy always kind of comes back to this game and touches base on it uh for me i love i love rift man uh i'm always going to be here at rift i i'm i'm i love the pvp in it uh they the developers make their mistakes just like everybody else does but hopefully they'll always go back and fix it um they've always kind of made me happy in the most part it's just this huge drastic change with the pve gear uh, being viable in pvp it's it's not something that i've liked lately people have definitely had uh different opinions than i have on it but really it's it's just a matter of you know what you prefer and what i what i prefer is for there to be separate pvp gear i liked it the way they had it before i wish they'd just go back to it but I don't know. Maybe I'm a whiner. Maybe I, I don't see it like I should be seeing it, but I don't know. I, I've, I've played a lot of different games, and uh, Rift has always been my bread and butter game, and I, I just hate seeing it change into ways that I don't want it to change, but can't have it always how you want. Uh, my character is starting to gear up a lot better now, so uh, it's... Uh, as you can see in this warfront, you know, I'm just going around and killing people because, you know, I know who to switch to. I see who goes down easy, which I'm not saying AF goes down real easy. Well, there I go down. Look at that. And uh, as you can see, our team is even losing drastically. And 
it, you know, it's it's kind of funny because it, normally I always show Warfronts where we always win, but I think we lose this one actually. So, <laughs> yeah, even showing you one that I, I die a time or two in it. And look at the look on my face. <laughs> I don't like to die. I like to win. I don't like to lose. But uh, <laughs> that was a funny look. But I hope you guys are going to look forward to all the videos that we got coming up soon. I mean, all the build videos are coming back. We're going to be full swing into Rift content. Uh, I've also got my WoW channel and all that. Uh, you know, uh, I enjoy the other games as well, and uh, but Rift is always the number one. Um, and if you guys have never seen my WoW channel, you know, you ought to go over there and check it out. I do dueling videos uh, where I'm me playing a warrior, I duel people, and then I've also had it to where, you know, I show like tips and tricks. I just haven't put out a whole lot of videos in it yet. I'm, I'm needing to put out a lot more. But, like I said, it, it, with the job being as hectic as it is, and, and also I don't really get along with the management that I'm dealing with. I'm one of the management, and I don't get along with the other ones, so it's been making the job really suck. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I thought that was so funny. As soon as I got on somebody, he goes and runs and jumps off a cliff. But I guess they're seeing the damage I'm doing, and Paragon is pretty good of a build right now. And also, I'm able to take a hit since I went with the Paragon build that I'm doing right now with uh, the Beastmaster uh, trickled in. I've got the 7% uh, damage reduction, and that affects my entire raid whenever I have that buff up. So it's pretty nice, pretty nice. So I'm just running around just smashing people, as you can see. <laughs> I go up to this healer and I just, you know, I put the pressure and as soon as I get him low, that's whenever the CC happens usually, but I didn't even need to CC that guy. He, he was getting ganked a little bit, so the damage just came pouring in. This was a match that I really was kind of uh, on edge about because we were going around and killing people very well, well I was, I, I don't know how other people were doing, but... I was killing. Look at all these rangers on me, man. There's just no surviving there. Yeah, second death. All right, two deaths so far. Hopefully we don't have any more deaths. But yeah, it, this was a real clincher of a game because, uh, as you can see, we started coming back in the score there, and uh, I was really thinking we might be able to pull it off. And whenever I would go in there, I started getting pretty reckless, as you can see with the deaths that I did have so far. I was, I was kind of wading right into all the fight and look at all the red names there, but I went and charged into them. Normally, I don't play with that kind of style. I, I make sure to play really intelligent. I don't dive right into the damage. As you can see, I, I'm like, okay, I can't even talk myself into going into all that. But um, normally I'm very critical on how I pick my targets and stuff. But in this one, it's like, man, we're so close. Just get in there and try to kill some people. We're so close to win and we even got them three capped right now. And so I was really wanting to try to push the, uh, you know, turn the tide on the other team because they had such a huge lead beforehand. And... Uh, <laughs> this is this is the healer that was constantly running from me. Every time I got on him, he was just like the hell with this man. Uh, I don't know if he knew who I was or if he had just seen the damage I had been doing to him. But yeah, and also my gear is getting pretty pretty nice now. You know, I'm finally starting to catch up to some of these PVEers that uh, geared up way beforehand. People make examples that even the big PVEers were. Uh, geared up way beforehand ran dungeons, but man a lot of the PvPers that uh, people make examples of like Cupcake, e, Naked Stone and all them They raid they they already had raid gear, you know that, That's the thing is they're already coming in already decked out and they got decked out really fast Whereas the average PvPer just you know had to slowly get gear like I did But I'm finally getting geared up and hopefully I get uh, the two-handed weapon that everybody has in the dungeons. If any of you guys want to run me through dungeons, please send me tales in the game and say, hey, let's go get you the sword or whatever. 
because I will definitely be on board to go, uh, you know, unless I'm just super busy doing something else. So, like right now, you know, people, if I'm in the middle of recording a Warfront, people will send me tales and say, hey man, let's go do a dungeon. Whenever I tell them, hey, I'm busy, you know, I'm in the middle of a Warfront, you know, I can imagine they, they get tired of asking me if I'm always busy. But please keep trying because I definitely want the sword. If I could kill everybody with that fails, fails wind or whatever, I'd be happy. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. As usual, my name is Grim, and I will be seeing you next time. And make sure that if you are new to Rift, use my referral code in the link before below. It helps my channel so much. Alright guys, take care.